All right, guys, we're back up in Detroit, hanging out with Brian Wolf, more 7.3 Tech. Today, we're going to be talking about camshafts, specifically, what does it take to put a bigger camshaft in stock in a 7.3 to hot rod these things? Brian, what's going on? Okay, well, today, um, and Evan, as you've covered and as I think other people have seen on the internet, we're running the 7.3 with several different camshafts through it some mildly increased duration camshafts and some very longer long duration camshafts. And the reason that it's important to check this uh, piston to valve clearance is with these longer duration camshafts and higher lifts, you have a chance of running the valves either intake or exhaust into the piston, and that would be a bad thing. So what we have set up here is we've already done that with these long duration camshafts, and we did have an issue. We had under 40,000 piston to valve clearance on the intake side. That's just too tight for my comfort level. I'd like to see on something like this where it's going to be more of a street application and where we're going to be, um, you know, someone might over rev the engine, might get into trouble. You know, we want to, I like to see 120 thousandths plus piston to valve. So these pistons were already cut. And what we're doing here is I'm just, just going to go through the motions of what we do when we, when we check piston to valve. So right now we've already set the degree wheel so we know where top dead center is which is zero okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to check it and as i think i mentioned because this is a vct engine we check it full advanced and full retard so we're going to check this this is this happens to be the 0.8 degrees after top dead center and this happens to be in the full retard position and you can see here we have a, a little over 200,000, about two 207 thousands piston of valve we go through that process from about six degrees before top dead center until about 14 after. And typically on this engine, your minimum piston to valve is about eight degrees, but we don't only check it at one point, we check it at a lot of points to make sure we get the entire curve and we know what's gonna happen. Right, so Brian, you mentioned, as we know, this is a VCT engine, even though it's a single cam. Um, what did you have to do? Did you have to tighten the range of motion on the, um, on the VCT when you go with a bigger cam. Yeah, that's a really good point, Evan. The stock VCT from Ford has a 50 degree range. And the reason you have all that uh, that range and mainly in the retard direction is so you have internal exhaust gas recirculation. You don't need an EGR valve, you do it with the camshaft. Now when we go to these long duration camshafts, especially as you start retarding that cam, you really could get into trouble on the exhaust to piston clearance. Right. So on the units that we're doing here, we have a little device set up so we only get 12 degrees of motion. And you say, well, can you handle it in the computer? You can, but when you're going through startup when the oil pressure isn't quite there yet, and mm -hmm. if the lock maybe wasn't locked when the engine shut down, right. you don't want to risk having that exhaust valve run into the piston because it only has to hit it once and it causes the damage. Is there a point where you would run no VCT? On a drag engine, absolutely. Um, when we ran uh, our stage uh, one heads with the stage uh, 1B cam with the stock intake, we made 600 horsepower, 600 right. foot-pounds of torque. Now, if you take that full advance versus full retard, there was 35 foot-pounds at the low speed and 30 horsepower peak. Right. Now, if you were running in the drag application, you would have only run that thing fully retarded and you wouldn't even have missed that torque down at 3,500 RPM, you would have drove right through it. Right. But if you've got a, vehicle, a truck and you're going down the road and you're trying to lug it at lower speeds, right. that 35 foot pounds would do you a lot of good. So I think the VCT okay. is really, really good for street application. Right. Or if you want to run a tighter torque converter or you're going to be running a stick without right. a lot of gear in the back or you're going to be using the engine at 3,500 or even lower, yep. then you probably want all that torque. Absolutely. And the only thing true with that torque comes knocking tendency. So you got to really make sure you put high octane fuel in it so that you don't get into detonation. As we talked, it's really important to check the piston to valve clearance because what we found on this engine with the long duration camshafts is we were substandard piston to valve clearance on the intake side, which was in the full advanced position. So when we found out we were a little bit tight, we took the pistons, took it to our local machine shop, and we had them put this intake valve notch in it. As you can see here, it's 100,000 steeper. Here's the stock piston, here's the modified piston. You can see this little eyebrow we had to put in to clear that intake valve. That little bit is really worthwhile and you have to do it with these longer duration camshafts. All right, Brian, another great trip up here. What do we have uh, to look forward to next? Well, uh, next we're going to be running the stage two heads. We're going to be running a little longer cams. 
And uh, I'm also looking forward to get that race engine back on dyno. Uh, so we got a lot of stuff coming up and uh, can't wait to get it to you. Sweet, yeah, we wanna see that Whipple run. We are dying for that thousand plus uh, seven three to happen out here. So everybody, we really appreciate everybody. The seven three stuff is awesome. We, uh, we got that Cyclone, if you haven't seen that, it's probably right for one of these seven threes. If you haven't checked that video, be sure to check that out. And uh, don't forget to drop those comments, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff, hit the like button, and have yourself a fantastic day.